Okay, now we're going to do a demonstration of how the right hand roll works. So this is the hex bolt and we have a wrench that's applying 160 Newton of force downward over here and between the pivot point and where the force is applied is 250 millimeter. So how do you know the direction of the moment? So what you would do is take out your right hand and from the reference point you will extend out your right hand and you will want your four fingers over here to curl toward the direction of your force. So in this case, as your hand is going along the distance from the pivot point, you cannot curl your four fingers because the force is actually going downward. So you have to flip it. Have top of your, your hand actually be up. And so in this way, you're able to curl your four fingers toward the distance, uh, toward the, the force that's applied on this wrench. So in this case, your thumb is actually pointing inward into the wall or away from you. So this means negative. The moment is negative. So on the other hand, if we flip the direction of the force over here to go up, You do the same thing. Now, in this case, it's very easy that you can see your four fingers can curl toward the direction of the force, and your thumb is actually pointing toward you or away from the wall, and that means the moment is positive. So the other way to look at this is that intuitively you can think about whether the wrench is moving clockwise or counterclockwise. So in this case, the wrench is actually being moved counterclockwise, so that's a positive moment. And in the other case, when the force is actually going down, the wrench is actually moving uh, clockwise, that means it's a negative moment.